Well, the, the herd, um, in, in the Gulf of St. Lawrence uh, now, the herd is up to uh, approximately one million animals. And they will, we think one of the purpose, one of the things that they use their louder or higher amplitude calls for is that it allows them to attract each other to a common location. And so when the Gulf of St. Lawrence freezes over in, uh, hopefully in February, um, this is a, one or two weeks before the seal pups are born. Most of the pups are born over four days between the first and the fourth of March, give or take a day or two. Um, the seals, when you find the seal herd in, it, in early in the season, it's typically one herd. Uh, it can be fairly large. Uh, I remember one which was 10 kilometers by 20 kilometers, but you could, most of the seals that were on the ice were in that one group. And so we think that they are using these uh, long range calls to, to form, uh, form the group. Uh, when you look down, just looking straight down into the water, uh, most years you can see 20 to 30 meters quite easily and sometimes a, a, a bit farther. And uh, the seals are, are in the main fairly well spaced. So they're, uh, most of them are not um, sort of in physical or even in visual contact of each other. Now one exception to that are there are gangs of males that will form groups of between, usually between 10 and 20 um, adult males. And they will travel sort of as a pack and they'll tend to move along an open water lead. And you'll see them going by, uh, going south, and then they'll turn around um, 10 minutes later and they'll come back. Um, and they're acting as a group. Uh, they will, when they come up to breathe, they'll all come up within 10 or 15 seconds of each other um, and they'll breathe and, and another behavior they perform is they'll uh, tilt their head backwards in the water so their throat is up but their nostrils are actually underwater and they'll blow bubbles and then they uh, will make some in-air vocalization typically uh, grunts or growls and then the group descends again within five or 10, 15 seconds, and they'll swim along and come up somewhere else. So they're sort of cruising along the open water leads. Uh, the females at this time uh, have given birth, and uh, during the day they're up on the ice uh, nursing their, their pups. Uh, harp seals are really remarkable because they have such a tight breeding schedule. Um, we basically book our airline tickets for the field trip um, with a fair amount of certainty. For instance, we'll in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where they breed, uh, give birth fairly early, the first births typically occur maybe on the 28th of February, and 75% of the pups will be born in the next three or four days. And then around the 15th of March, two weeks postpartum, um, we have a lot of, of courtship and, and mating occurs. And then after that, around the 20th of March, uh, the adults uh, will leave. The pups are weaned at about 14 days. 10 to 14 days. And so the, the adults will breed uh, and, then, and then swim north, begin the northward migration. Uh, the pups are still on the ice, uh, hoping that it won't melt, um, living off, the, uh, off their very copious blubber. And uh, they will t take to the water, typically when the ice melts around the 20th, sometime between the 20th and the 25th of March. And then they begin the northward migration up to uh, south of Greenland. Very, very uh, a tight schedule.